What is going on guys, Dip and Diesel back. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. We're gonna be helping out Paradox again. We are gonna be picking up some new tires for his 1951 Dodge truck. It's a dually, six tires. We're gonna go pick them up from the tire shop. He's already paid for them and uh, he's at work right now so he wants me to go pick them up. I think he's off for the next five days. So we're gonna be putting out a whole bunch of videos on this truck. Hopefully get the first drive of this truck going up in the next couple days so if you guys aren't subscribed to paradox go over to his channel link will be in the description below um it's gonna be exciting i'm really excited to see this truck drive we got it started up so go check out that video on his channel but yeah we're gonna go pick up some new tires for his truck these right now when they're aired up they're 37s i think he said that uh he bought some 38s for this truck so it's gonna be really sick all six all brand new tires um, if you guys didn't see a video on his channel, we were um, working on the engine and I was going to go ahead and take off the fuel filter bowl and I would have been standing right here because the fuel filter is right. The fuel filter is right here so I was going to be working right here and uh, he was talking on the phone with Bruce Wilson uh, so we stopped doing what we were doing and we were talking to him and then all of a sudden this tire freaking exploded. I would have been standing right here. Um, I would have lost my dick. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I would have <laughs> I would have been in some serious trouble right here with that tire blowing. But yeah, going to go pick up some new tires for him uh, here in just a few minutes. I wouldn't be surprised if these are the original tires. Uh, U.S. Royal. Uh, I'm guessing this is the this is the U.S. brand. You don't make tires in the U.S. anymore. Um, but these are 8.25 by 20, and they're gonna be 38 inches. Uh, it's gonna look freaking sick So yeah, let's hop in the truck and go and pick up some new tires for this 1951 Dodge truck Alrighty guys, so we're on the way to the tire shop But I wanted to talk about a topic that's kind of hot on my channel right now And it is selling this this Cummins right here. We're driving in right now. I love this thing Don't get me wrong. I love this thing to death. I do not want to sell it I've been seeing your guys comments on the last couple videos a lot of you guys are saying no don't sell it No, we're gonna miss it a lot of you guys understand that For my channel. It's about building Stuff, you know, I've already built this truck. I can't do really much anything to it So that's where I'm coming from of needing to sell it to get into another truck to upgrade that and to have you know new content for you guys um, a lot of you guys were saying to keep this truck and buy another truck you know YouTube is kind of difficult to do that because I don't have a, a full-time job YouTube is my full-time job I make videos and put them online for you guys and to walk into a dealership with relatively no money down and it's kind of hard to get a loan unless you put a big down payment down if you're a youtuber which i don't have a big down payment to put down uh to get a loan for another truck so that's where i'm coming from right now that's that's why i'm thinking about selling this truck so i can either put a down payment down on another truck or just buy a truck flat out with the money i get from this truck and then upgrade that one and so on and so forth a lot of you guys are saying to keep this one and buy another truck the only way that's possible is if i buy you know a beater like Caleb, I'm not calling that truck a beater, um, but you guys understand what I'm saying when I say buy another truck uh, would be like a project truck, like a grand or less project truck, like an old truck built like Caleb was doing. Um, that stuff really interests me, you know, pulling out of a barn and uh, trying to get it to run and everything like that. So that's one way I would keep this truck and buy another project truck like he did. That's the only way that I would be able to keep this truck is if I was able to pick a truck up for really cheap, either diesel or gas. Um, gas would be an older truck. I'm not gonna buy a, you know, like a 2000 something gasser. So if I keep this one and then buy an older truck, that would be a way to keep this truck. If not, I will have to sell this truck and either put a down payment on a newer truck or try to find, you know, a truck basically trade I could probably see if I can trade this truck for another truck uh, maybe that'll be easier I don't know um, but yeah that's that's where I'm coming from with uh, wanting to sell my truck you guys still have any other questions or ideas that I can do you know I don't have that much money if I don't sell this to put down on another truck so that's why I happen to think about selling this truck hopefully that cleared that up for you guys I know I've been kind of talking about it over the last couple videos, but that's what's on my mind right now. 
either selling this truck, buying a new truck, or trying to find a project truck for really, really cheap and make videos on that. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. We're almost through the tire shop. We're about 10 minutes away, and uh, we should be picking up these these uh, tires here shortly. All right, guys, we're picking up the new tires. They look good. I called Caleb, had him take a look at them, but they all look good. They look freaking mean. They're gonna look so good on that truck. Uh, but yeah, we're just loading them up right now. All right, we're all loaded up. Ready to go back to the house. And uh, I think someone is coming to go take off the tires on the truck. And then uh, I think I might have to bring these over to another tire shop to get them put on the wheels, so. I'm back home. Alrighty guys, we just got some lunch and we are back at Caleb's house with the brand new tires. I think they look mean as hell. Got all six tires. These are gonna be the front tires and then the more aggressive ones are gonna be the back tires. So we got two of these, one, two, and then we got four of these more aggressive ones. And then we got the tubes in the boxes right there. So yeah, we're just waiting on the guy to come and take these tires off of the 1951. And then I think I'm probably gonna follow him to the tire shop to bring him the tires for him to put on the old wheels. So yeah, just a waiting game for that guy to come. Caleb said he was gonna come after lunch. It's already one o'clock, so I don't know when their lunch break is. Uh, but he should be here shortly, hopefully. I don't wanna be waiting here all day. Well, I'm trying to call Caleb. I'm about to take this last uh, last two tires off the rear end. And we have to take the wheels to the tire shop and I'm trying to call him to see if he wants me to take them. Cause if I do, I think I'm gonna go pick up my trailer. Cause I got six other tires that I have to bring to the tire shop and they all can't fit in the bed of my truck. So I'm trying to call him. I'll wait for him to call me back and see what he wants to do. Uh, one of the tires that we picked up today, the tread, was all messed up on it. I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, Caleb ordered another tire. He's gonna return that tire tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just waiting on to hear back from Caleb and see what he wants me to do. If he wants me to take these down to the tire shop, it's already three o'clock, so I don't know how long they stay open over there. So I wanna get over there as soon as possible so they have time to mess with these and have them ready for us tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting on a call from him to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that last set of tires off and I'll probably go ahead and pick up my trailer while I wait for him to call me back and then uh, load these up and see what he wants me to do. All right guys, so yeah, Caleb just called me back and uh, that tire shop closes at five and it's three o'clock now. So I gotta get these uh, loaded up on the trailer and then bring them over to the tire shop so they have time to at least start doing it so that we can pick them up tomorrow and uh, put them on the truck. So. Trying to hurry here. Get this trailer hooked up right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a gash taken out of the tread right there. And then also there's cuts along the side of the tread on this tire and Caleb wasn't happy. So he's gonna go back tomorrow and pick up a new tire and uh, return this one too. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this trailer up, 
head over back to his house, load the tires up, and then bring them to the tire shop. So stay tuned. <laughs> There it is guys, we finally have all the wheels off of the truck and it is doing the UFO mode, look at that. Up on jack stands. We dropped off the tires to the tire shop. This tire right here, the lugs that go over this set of lugs, I don't know what it's called for dualies or whatever, but you got a lug that screws over this lug and those were freaking rusted. I tried getting it off with a breaker bar, didn't work, I had an impact. I went and borrowed a socket from the tire shop to try to get that off. Three of them came off and then two of the other ones I had to literally step on a breaker bar to try to break those loose and we finally got it off. But I dropped all the tires off at the tire shop, dropped the trailer back off at home and uh, yeah, there it is. Stay tuned for Paradox's video when we put those bad boys on this truck. This truck is gonna turn out so sick. So stay tuned on his channel for more videos on this 1951 Dodge truck. This thing is badass. I think the next video or one of the next videos we're gonna do is uh, fixing the brakes and then getting this thing ready to drive. So it's really exciting. Head over to his channel to check out more videos. You guys won't regret it. Working really hard to get this thing up and running. We got it started last video on his channel. And uh, yeah, it was really exciting. I was so excited to see this thing start running. We had a couple, we had a couple issues that we had to fix. We couldn't run it for long. We ran it for one or two seconds. We had to fix something with the oil filter cap. We got that all squared away. But I think when Caleb comes home from work, we're gonna get this baby started up again. Maybe not, I don't know, it's on jack stands. I don't know if he wants to run it on jack stands or not. But yeah, I'm super excited about this truck even though it's not even mine. Uh, but yeah, tires are all sent off to the shop. Getting ready to put on. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this channel. Stay tuned for more videos on my channel as well. Definitely uh, let me know what you guys think about my dilemma with selling my truck or keeping it or buying a truck like this. Uh, yeah, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching again. Leave a like if you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch you in the next one. Dippin' Diesel.